going to read you something very short from each of the four books.
heard his whine in distress. Aragon swept his gaze over the courtyard two separate times before he noticed a faint puff of dust rising up the wall of the keep, a foot wide crack that had appeared beneath the blackened, partially destroyed window where Bloodgarn had killed the magician. As the squeal increased in intensity, Aragon ripped lifting one of his hands off his ear to point at the crack. Look! He shouted to Arya. He nodded in acknowledgement. He replaced his hand over his ear. Without warning or preamble, the sound stopped. Aragon waited for a moment, then slowly lowered his hand, for once wishing that his hearing was not quite so sensitive. Just as he did, the crack jerked open wider spreading until it was several feet across, and raced down the wall of the heap. Like a bolt of lightning, the crack struck and shattered the keystone above the door to the building, showering the floor below with heaven. The whole castle groaned, and from the damaged window to the broken keystone, the front of the heap began to lean outward. Run! Aragon shouted at the garden, though the men were already scattering to either side of the courtyard, desperate to get out from under the precarious wall. Aragon took a single step forward, every muscle in his body tense, and he searched for a glimpse of glory somewhere in the throng of warriors. At last, Aragon spotted him, trapped behind the last group of men by the doorway, bellowing madly at them. His words lost in the commotion. And the wall shifted and dropped several inches, leading even further away from the rest of the building, helping roar with rocks, knocking him off balance, and forcing him to stumble backwards under the overhang of the doorway. As Roran straightened from his crouch, his eyes met Aragon. And in his gaze, Aragon saw a flash of fear and helplessness, quickly followed by resignation. As if Rory knew that no matter how fast he ran, he could not possibly reach safety in time. A wry smile touched Rory's lips, and the wall fell.